Welcome back, friends. I'm Juliet, and today is Friday. This is the fourth week, and this is the last day of our spring yoga practice dedicated to self-love. So I hope you enjoy these four weeks and you share it with others. I want to hear everything about your experience. Please share with me your favorite quotes about the self-love so we can all learn from each other's experience. And for today, I prepared for you one of my favorite quotes, which is, sounds like this. Love is always enough. I not just like myself, but I'm crazy about myself. Think about it, guys. Love is always enough. It's already enough. And I am not just liking myself, but I'm crazy about myself. So say it aloud. Cultivate that sensation of self-love, self-worthiness, be, being lovable inside out. And we're going to conquer it through the yoga practice today together again. So let's begin in the seated position. Yoga practice better than morning coffee. I don't mind the coffee after that, but it's a good start for the day. So let's close our eyes and dedicate this practice to self-love, to rising that self-worthiness within, to shine, to radiate it from inside out, so we can help others to achieve the same, to grow that self-love through our personal experience. Let's open up our eyes and reach all the way up. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Draw those hearts towards the heart. Set a commitment to practice from the heart. Let's reach up and take a few soft lateral bends, side to side. And it doesn't have to be deep, guys. Just expand enough. Mm -hmm. and let's do just a couple more and then go ahead and switch and rotate from side to side up and open very nice all the way feeling the back opening beautiful and that continue with the little circles right about the floor it doesn't have to be any way specific just allow your body to move in concert shoulders neck upper body, lower body, and then reverse it to the opposite direction. Be yourself. Love yourself. Be in sound with your body and mind. Listen what your body and mind and soul asking, guys, and you will always know. Let's continue with the little shoulders rolls. Into the nose, out through the nose, and then go ahead and reverse them. Very nice. Just a couple more, beautiful. And let's begin the next flow. We're gonna open up our legs a little bit today. So pull the knee slightly backwards, just like a bow and arrow, but the other leg is still here. Breathe, and then extend, maybe use the strap, then bend this again, lengthening the spine. And extend, bend this again, and extend, open this up. Keep on breathing, hold, bring it back to the center. Let's do the same from the other side. Send it back from the hip flexor, guys, all the way. Then extend, send it back, then extend. Let's send it all the way back. And this time, extend it to the side. Breathe. And then slowly. Bring it back to the front. Let's wake up the ankles. So send your hands guys behind and reach up. You can support yourself and that's already a big deal to be able to do that. However, if you don't have to support yourself at the back or support, or support yourself at all, just take your hands up front and maybe bring your hands all the way up front of your body. Keep on breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose. You don't have to do it, guys, unless it's comfortable, right? We want to treat our body with respect and with that self-love. Let's go ahead and grab the big toes. Open up those legs. Excellent. Big breath. 
again take it back together look how strong you are open it up take it back together open it up take it back together let's do it just without the help of the hands open and back open and back open it back excellent work coming up and sit up on your feet now it might not be available for everyone you might need to go on your on your toes but if you can sit in a loose pose that's great so maybe you're gonna pad your heels with some little yoga pads or little pillows maybe you're gonna sit on the block as well or support yourself up front keep on breathing guys very nice let's go ahead and give it a soft rotation to the side very good and soft rotation to the other side keep your knees leveled guys mm -hmm. and gently slowly come up with me to the chair pose on the tippy toes beautiful keep on breathing guys and back to the nose pose i know it's very challenging so help yourself with the with the hands hopefully we got stronger for this month not only physically but the inside out so it's a so strength and self-belief radiates from our heart and each and every pore of our skin let's do it one more back towards the bottom and one more time keep on breathing guys keep on breathing don't give up take your both hands up and open sweep and all the way exhalation let's do it one more time halfway up and open arms up in sweep every disbeliefs everything what doesn't serve you sweep it away from yourself reach up and open any negativity any doubts sweep that away and one more time reach up and open expand guys through the heart and all the way exhalation back on the floor look half face through we're going to take our arms namaste up front lift your one knee keep on breathing find the balance gently put it right on top stay with me guys beautiful and let's slowly switch stay in your chair pose getting stronger Put the ankle right on top. Very nice. Let's slowly sweep up. Inhalation, exhalation. Bind your hands behind or just connect them however you can. Fold forward. All the way. Relax the shoulders, relax the wrist and elbows. Keep on breathing. And back to the one final chair pose. Heart up and open, navel in, and all the way, guys. Back to the nose pose. Take your time, take your time, take your time. That's a challenging one. Take your hands behind, coming up on the tippy toes, and let's try to give our knees a hug and find that balance. Very good. And slowly return back. On the floor, put your both feet to Baddha Kanasana or Butterfly Pose, Bound Angle. Move them a little bit farther away. And we're going to take our both hands on top of the feet. On the floor, guys, if you can reach, maybe on the blocks or underneath your feet. If that is available, close your eyes. Return back to your breathing. Return back to the essence of who you are. Not all of your achievements, not all your titles, possessions, but you as a person within. You as the one true self. And let's slowly return it back to the center, expand through the heart, open that heart, open that body for more to receive more, to acquire more of information, of self-beliefs. Let all the self-doubts, guys, out. 
so we can grow ourselves as a people, so we can contribute to other people's lives as well. Life is all about giving, it's, it's life given to us. It's a beautiful gift which comes with responsibility to live it well and to contribute to other people's lives as well. So let's reach out. Remember that beautiful quote that love is already enough and that you not just like yourself, but you're really crazy about yourself. And let's cultivate that sensation within for all this day today, for Saturday, for Sunday. And by the way, I will see you at Saturday early morning so we can work out together. Please guys, share with me your favorite quotes, your experience. How did this practice help you to grow? Or maybe it helped grow to someone else who you taught, who you share it with. I can't wait to hear from you and I will see you soon. Namaste.